Welcome to Battlefield Hardline. This is supposedly the next Battlefield game in the franchise. And there are rather a few twists along the way. We have a lot of information here today that's been extracted from the battle log code, so we may as well get right into it right now. Just before we start, I want to say a massive thank you to Cohen to finding all of this and posting it all on his own blog, which is absolutely amazing. He's catalogued it for everybody to see, which is great news. So looking at it from the start, obviously you can see the logo there. I'll take that away and behind that you can see what looks like some sort of downtown map. Now the fact that it's already a little bit destroyed, does that mean we're going to be seeing Levolution from Battlefield 4? What does that really mean? But at the moment we can see there's going to be some urban warfare in this game. Next, here are two symbols for two of the factions that could possibly be included in this game. One labelled SWAT and the other one Thieves. Now, this ties in with a lot of rumours for Battlefield Hardline that this is going to be a police or SWAT focused shooter. Now, those, no those names right there fill that gap perfectly. Now coming along with those we have four different factions. They are essentially the same from what we've seen from Battlefield 4 but they are slightly different in terms of their name but that's probably about it because they have exactly the same symbols. We have the Medic class which is renamed to Operator. We have the Mechanic class which is Engineer. Enforcer which is the Support class in Battlefield 4 and Professional which is the Recon class in BF4. So just from that information right there we could be just looking at a natural progression in the Battlefield franchise here. The only unnatural thing about it is that it's probably going to be released this year if the information has been leaked now. Next we'll have a look at some of the weapons. Now starting in the top left corner, that looks like an AK variant right there. If that's the AK-47 in the next Battlefield game, that would be utterly amazing. We then have the Riot Shield, which is making an appearance in Dragon's Teeth for Battlefield 4. A baseball bat. <laughs> C4 charge, a syringe, what looks like some kind of remote camera. Moving down we've got the G36 grappling hook, looks like a compact 45, MP7, what looks like a smoke grenade there, maybe even a flashbang, what looks like an M16, which looks amazing. If that's the 16A3, that would be great to see that return from Battlefield 3. Moving down to the bottom two lines, looks like we've got an SKS there, a snub-nosed pistol a sawn off double barrel shotgun, a pump action SWAT style police pump action shotgun, a UMP, a taser, and if you look in the far bottom left hand corner, that's a crossbow right there. That looks bloody awesome. Just very briefly here, we're going to have a look at some of the attachments that looks like you're going to be able to put onto your weapons. Lots of different sights up there. We see some returning from Battlefield 4. You can see the potato grip, the uh, angled foregrip up there. Looks like the return of extended magazines, which is a, a good thing because in Battlefield 4 that wasn't an option. Uh, and looking further down, you can see some suppressors, tack lights, all the things that you'd expect to be able to attach to your weapon. And in this final screen for things that we can see in the game so far, we've got some sort of icons of what the vehicles could be like. These look like the ones that will be shown on the kill cam card and the ones that you'll be able to see on battle log, I guess. But here you can see various helicopters, various sort of armoured trucks, what looks like some kind of fuel vehicle or like sort of gasoline truck. Moving further down, we've got like an interceptor bike, a dirt bike. We've even got like uh, sort of sports cars there. So we really could be seeing loads of different vehicles within this game that really fits the police style genre, especially if you've got like cops and robbers. They're going to be using sort of like fast cars to get away and things like that. So it really does fit the theme right there. It really does set the scene for what we could be seeing later on this year. And the last bit that I wanted to show you today is this right here. That says Visceral on it. Now, it's been a rumour for a while that Visceral are going to be making the next Battlefield game. And that all but confirms it. We can't really say if this is true. I mean, most of the things that have been found have been put in since the recent battle log update. But none of it can be taken for complete 100% for sure right now. Most of this will probably have to be taken with a pinch of salt. Because all of this could change. They could just be placeholders. Who really knows what they're for? I mean, they seem to have their own individual art style, and it would be great if Visceral were making this game. They would put their own stamp on it, I think. I don't think it would really be like a dice battlefield game. And I think that puts in a little bit of competition within the franchise there, because we know that dice can make a really good shooter. And they kind of lost their way a little bit with Battlefield 4. It didn't really go down as they expected. Maybe it was time for another developer to step in, take the realm, and maybe take the franchise in a direction that 
DICE wouldn't have been able to take it. Maybe this is a good move for the franchise. Maybe moving into a police-themed genre really is something that we were looking for, something a little bit fresh, something a little bit different. Who really knows? So that is Battlefield Hardline, or at least all the information we have for it right now. Who really knows what it's going to look like when it actually comes out? Who really knows when it's going to come out? I mean, it could come out at any point in the future. The fact it's been included in Battlelog means there's some real intent behind what's going on here from Visceral. But at the moment, it's all rumours, so who really knows? But anyway, thank you very much for watching today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, could you please hit like on the video today? That would be great so other people can see this kind of information. And make sure you leave all your comments down below today. I want to know exactly what's going on in your heads about this big leak that's happened today. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.